Yo, what is up everyone, it is Bolton back here with another video, and today we are in day two for our chess recaps. So, I just want to point out, look at the accuracies of this game, 38% to 43%. I played the 38% accuracy, um, but it was a 28 move checkmate that I thought I did really well at, um, so yeah, let's hop right into it. So, so that's out E4 by me, E5 is played, then this chess.com says it's the bishop's opening i call it the london because i think that's what it's actually called um so i play that i've i'm not very familiar with it i just tried it they play queen f6 so i'm already up i'm already at a plus 1.2 so i respond knight c3 they respond bishop c5 i so as well playing that move it threatens checkmate on f2 so I block their queen from getting there with knight f3. Then they play g6, which is a blunder. So I'm already up to 6.9. I castle. They play g4. I play knight e1. Which I should have played knight to d5. Because then that attacks their queen. But knight e1 is played. d6. Then I play d3. I play then they play h6 bishop e3 bishop e3 h4 bishop takes d takes c5 h3 trying to break away that two on um three and try to give my queen king a little extra room g takes h3 g takes h3 bishop takes takes h3 and now I realize at this moment that I could have just blocked him from taking my rook up my rook with my knight. But instead, I, in the game, my thought was, okay, I'm about to lose a rook, so I need to try to find a way to create a threat. So I go, bishop e5 check. Knight c, knight c6. Knight d5 attacking the queen. Queen d8. And they're down to a minus 2. Okay? They were at a minus 8. Then they played that, and they went down to a minus 2. So I'm losing at this point. Knight g2. Bishop d7, a3, h3, then I play knight to g3, knight g e3, h2 check, king g2. Now the reason I did this is so that if he goes to promote, and he promotes, I want to take with rook. If he takes with his rook, I take with queen, I'm up a pawn. Queen g5 check, I play knight there, which... I realize is a blunder, but he doesn't find that he can just take with the bishop. Hold on. Oh, sorry. He plays long castles. So, just watch out on long castle. Okay? There's one piece that is undefended if the knight sitting on c6 moves. f3. Knight f6, which is a blunder. Because, I don't know. Oh yeah, because you can just take the knight with the, um... And s you can just do that, and if they recapture with queen, I just recapture with my knight. But, I play king, g3. They play knight takes. I play e takes, d5. Queen, f4. And this is where I spot how I have a mate in six moves. King f2, I have to move it out of the way. Knight d4. Bishop takes. Um, Bishop takes d7. Check. Rook takes d7. b4. Trying to trade off those pawns. He takes. I take. And now my rook is wide open. Um, but he plays that, which is the best move. move. But he didn't see this coming. And as you see, it's a minus 20. Mate in four for him. And he plays one blunder. Knight takes f3. And I mate him with the rug. So I, I was completely lost in this situation. I think actually if we go back to the game. Yeah, he was up by a pawn. 
Um, and all of his pieces were swarming my king. So... It was a, um, pretty crazy, pretty, pretty crazy game. Um, I definitely did not think I was going to win it. I thought I was so far down in the hole. Um, E4, E5, yeah. It just, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot better. And that was a 796. And I think when I played in that game, I was a 7... I was definitely not a 791. That's what I am now. I think I was like a seven, seven 756 or something. But I'm a 791 now. But hopefully you all enjoyed day 2. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.